Huskers on top 2-0. I want to welcome you back here to the Bob Devaney Sports Center. You know, every year head coach John Cook challenges his players to explain their motivation for playing volleyball. And with Harper Murray, her why is really close to her heart and the reason she wears number 27. The most succinct way that I could describe Veda is that he was just this fierce, intense personality, but at the same time, like just a real softy and a really loving family man. In the late 1980s, Veda Murray wore number 27 for the Michigan Wolverines as a safety for the great head football coach, Bo Schembechler. Playing for Bo changed his life. The things that Bo instilled in him were the things that Veda, it's the way that Veda lived his life, not just in being punctual, but being disciplined, uh, you know, working hard and fighting for something that you believe you know, being disciplined in every aspect of your life. I'm from Ann Arbor, Michigan, and my sister and my brother and I all lived there with my mom and my dad. I loved growing up there. When Harper was three, her sister was six and her brother was nine, she just kind of grew up having to be a little spitfire, not just to keep up with them, but in order for them to let her hang with them and she wasn't gonna be left behind by either one of them. We went from, um, you know, just probably your average family, living your life, working hard, jobs that we both liked, raising kids, you know, to suddenly we were just kind of thrust into this um, crisis. In 2009, Harper's father, Veda Murray, was diagnosed with advanced stage lung cancer, a terminal diagnosis. So we spent the next couple of years trying to find a treatment that would stop the growth and relieve his pain. Um, and that, you know, that meant several clinical trials in different hospitals and um, different oncology uh, protocols, but nothing ever really worked. It turned things upside down very, very quickly. On April 6th, 2011, Veda Murray lost his fight following a two-year battle with cancer. I spent a lot of time with her and her mom in the recruiting process. He was a big part of their lives, and you can tell being around them that you see all the memories. In honor of my dad, I love to wear the number. My sister wears it at Michigan. It's our way of honoring him, and I actually have a tattoo on my finger for him too. It's 27. Every time I step on the court, I play for him. I'm fighting this lump in my throat all the time. Uh, at the start of matches, at the end, end of matches, I cried during the match in Memorial Stadium. I was unexpectedly emotional. I think there's a definite deep motivation in her why, why she plays volleyball and why she wants to be great. I think she still wants to show her dad that she can do that. It shaped all of me and my sister and my brother into the people we are. I mean, I'm already beaming with pride, but to see both of them out there at the same time, really meaningful event for my whole family. It's hard for me to not watch these matches and see them with that jersey on and see how they resemble him so much physically. You know, it's hard for me to not think about how much he'd love watching them. And I think he'd just be bursting with pride. Sarah Murray here tonight, watching her daughter play. Well, it was uh, special to see them play against each other. And she saw mom with the number two and seven, one in maize and gold and the other in yes. scarlet and cream. What a special night. I knew some of Harper's story, but I didn't know that. That's such a cool story. Honoring her father, the late Veda Murray with number 27. Back in the lineup here in the third set. Yep, the motivation it gives her, I can't fathom having gone through that, but you can tell their family is so tight because of it, and that's really neat to see how they've pulled together and they think so highly of each other. Mm -hmm.